everyone. My hair is looking like reddish in this lighting. Anyway, it's Thursday morning. Again, my day off, which isn't fucking really my day off because I'm out here grinding, do my errands, all that shit. Um, so right now I'm going to the gym. Y'all already know the vibe. I'm a little behind schedule. Not really, I don't think. It's like 7.30 in the morning. I need to do my cardio. I need to do my abs. I definitely need my posing because I've been kind of slacking my posing since I've been like really fucking busy but like no excuses like you bitch you got to practice your posing and get better but yeah I'm going after the gym I'm gonna do all my errands because I have to go on the specifics part of town where all of my errands need to be done it's kind of like far from where I live so I just want to get all of it done today I pick up my shirts pick up some stickers and then go to the bank just because your bitch likes to carry all around a lot of change because the change adds up. But I'm gonna, if you take it to your credit union, I believe they do it for you, um, just as long as they have the machine. So they have a therapy appointment. I've got a, kind of in a crunch here, guys. Kind of in a crunch, but we'll make it happen. I, haven't, I literally also haven't even drank water up until this point because I was just like, I need to get out of that fucking house. I put like a scoop of BCAs in it. I'm using like the Jay Cutler Watermelon Generate one, I think. I don't fucking know. I don't get sweets. I literally don't even get artificial sweeteners. My coach said I can have BCAs makes me like happy because it's like a little treat. That's right. Flavored water is a treat to me now. So this is my outfit. Literally I had to do laundry as well today, so my shit doesn't match. I, it's fine. My Sophia tea. Once again, if you guys haven't seen this, it's on my website. I designed it myself. I have inspirational, sick fucking pump covers for the girlies. Like, what more could you ask for? Anyway, this one is Dice, and it has like the 777, if you look pretty closely. And then the back, I'll put like a picture here. And then I'm wearing like these women's best camo shorts. Really fucking like, drew an outfit together. I was like, let's go. I'm getting so ravenous like I can't stop thinking about food and like my post-show meal which I know is gonna fucking hit but it's just like the cravings you know like once I eat it it's gonna be good yeah and then I'm gonna feel like shit I hope I don't feel like shit as much as I like I just hope I don't feel like shit okay Hi everyone, so today was a super busy day, but I did pick up my new shirts and I love these ones. If you guys have seen my comfort zone hoodie, it's that, but shirt form, a little bit of an upgrade in the design. I use the same links as I do with all my t-shirts because everyone tells me how much they love them, how comfortable they are. It's like not too heavy, not too soft, like just perfect fucking pump cover fabric. Um, so yeah. So ignore the pile of laundry, <laughs> uh, it's the bolts curved text so beautiful um i don't know what that stain is right there we're just gonna and the back this beautiful lightning bolt in the middle and then the text is this really cool white but also like blue gradient but it's not a gradient like it's so cool and it complements each other so i i'm literally wearing this to gym tomorrow i also finally got my sheen package it came way earlier than i thought it would i honestly thought it would come like next week um i'm not complaining so i'm gonna do a little unboxing try on haul moment for you guys oh my god probably should not show my address is my cowgirl boots um the box is really fucked up but as long as what's in it isn't i'll be okay so i sized up i believe because i think everyone and their mom and their reviews told me to but this is what it, it smells kind of weird i'm not gonna lie to you these are my cowgirl boots honestly they're not bad quality so i don't own much jewelry but i think i'll honestly be wearing this like with a cute little dress from time to time so it like opens up this one this one is my earrings clip on earrings how do I? Oop, they don't really even hurt. How oh, do was one earring? No, yeah, they don't even hurt. And they like, honestly, 
I'm kind of feeling myself. I never wear earrings, but these like dangly ones, the rhinestones, I'm kind of feeling myself, okay. And then this ring. I like the jewelry I picked out, like, this is like what it looks like. I know, shitty wedding. I'm filming at night, so there's no. Okay, my freaking fingers are too small, but I have to squeeze it, so it, it works. Hold up. Pulse, yeah. Oh, and it has like this little rutch design here. Oh, I love it. And like, there's no like poking underwire. It's just like the lining. Just feel the need to let everyone know that this romper is my new favorite thing. It's like one of the most high quality things I've gotten from Sheen. So fucking cute. A little off the shoulder look. If you want, you can pull it up, but like, my shoulders are too big for that, so I look like, yeah. But like, look how fucking cute. I just put everything I needed out for tomorrow morning. My gym clothes, my work clothes. I also have my oatmeal packed, my protein powder in bags packed, what I'm going to bring to work lunch tomorrow. Just so I'm like, good to go. Preparing for the day ahead. Everyone, I am driving to the coffee shop. We're going to Coffee Bean. I'm meeting up with my friend, Alessia. We're gonna go over some like ideas to do podcasts. We're gonna do some co-working. But this is just the cute fit. Um, I cropped this tank top. It's just from Wild Table, some leggings, and my like black fur slides. And to finally meet her, we've like been mutuals on Instagram. to hang out, get to know each other, have some coffee. I brought protein powder and my shaker so that way i can just ask for black coffee and have them shake it in with and i'll shake it in with my coffee this might be extra i don't care um i did chocolate of fucking course i love chocolate and just shake it up and pour it back into this i know it's kind of always plastic but like it tastes better in the cup we all know that i'm literally gonna watch a youtube video while i eat because toxic i have to um oh my god i literally such a fucking slut for shake shack i'm gonna take tiny ass bites so this experience can last as long as possible oh fuck yeah a small ass bite i don't care i'm so good hey guys i just bought all my shit everything it feels like a way it's been lifted off my chest registered for my npc card signed up for all my classes open so i'm this is like the only time ever that i'll be able to compete in all three true novice meaning that i've never competed before novice meaning that i've never placed first before and open which is everyone so since my first ever competition i'm able to do all three classes so i just registered for that and then i also bought my like set up my tanning um, I also bought suppositories, <laughs> um, that really makes you poop just in case, you know, they, that's what my coach said, she said, just get it just in case, and I was like, okay, okay, I trust you, um, I got, I ordered, like, a silk robe from Amazon, and then I also ordered resistance, like, pump-up bands from Amazon, like, the long ones, um, so I can just be back there doing my fucking lateral raises or, like, RDLs with them. I don't know. So, yeah, I have, like, everything else I need. Oh, my gosh. I actually need to text my hairdresser if I can borrow her hair straightener and her hairspray. I'm going to be using hairspray on my face as setting spray on Jonay. I know you're not supposed to do that, but on special events, here's a little life hack. I do this. I've done this before for, like, weddings and stuff. It makes your, literally, your makeups last all day. It's not good for your skin. Like, literally don't do it every day. But, like, hairspray as a setting spray is a life hack. So, yeah, I need to text her. But all my appointments, um, got that out of the way. Tan. Freaking pedicure. Uh, nails. Lashes. Like, I'm gonna be slammed peak week. But I'm trying my best to, like, prepare as much as I can now. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap up this week's episode. I am losing track. 
I think it's the three week, no, it's a two week out vlog. Um, and then make sure to subscribe because I will be vlogging my shit right up to show day. Right after show day, my ass is going to Hawaii. So I know y'all want to see the fucking Hawaii content. Living my best life post show. I am not holding back. Trust me, I am not holding back. So I know y'all want to see me two weeks out when shit gets real, one week out when shit gets really real. And like all that fun stuff where I get my like hair did my nails did the whole nine yards i know y'all want to see show day like y'all been watching my journey and you need to see sh the show day vlog okay so just make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it but to ensure ensure that you don't miss all my good entertaining content my social media and all that jazz in the description i will be posting updating y'all showing you my journey it's gonna be a fun time Thank you guys for watching this video subscribe hit the notification bell you know the deal thank you so much for supporting i am endlessly grateful that i have a community where i can come on here and be myself and you like you fuck with me enough to like take time out of your day and watch me and be entertained by me and i can i'm literally talking to my camera and you could be in antarctica and watching this like isn't that crazy um i love everyone who's made it this far thank you so much for supporting me and i will see you guys next time